Hi right, everybody, I'm Luke Litton with your Look at Sports. The high school basketball playoffs are at the point where we are really paying close attention, mainly because at the start of the day, we had three teams left in the hunt for the state title. We start with Anders up in Snyder, taking on Wichita Falls Ryder. We want to give a big thanks to this live stream sponsored by El Paso Community College. We picked this one up in the first quarter, and the Eagles had a tough, tough time stopping that man. Ryder's TJ Vosher, point guard at six foot five, He gets the easy layup to go for the early six-point lead, but Anders would respond. Eric Simmons with his own aggressive drive and one. Eagles just down three, but Vosher again, a Texas Tech football commit for a reason, flushing it down on the break. Wichita falls up five, but Simmons would keep Andrus in this as he hits the corner three, gets that one to go, but this man just killed the Eagles again, driving to the lane. Another and one to spread the lead, and later more Vasher off the filthy crossover, source to the rim, and this guy's in high school? Sure looks like he's ready for the next level, and unfortunately the Eagles cannot do enough to pull off the comeback as they fall 72-61. to And our very own sports director, Trevor Thompson, was calling the game, and he has a recap. Trev, take it away. Very few people even expected Andrus to get to the regional semifinal ball game for the third straight year. They battled through injuries and losing a lot of firepower from a team that made the Final Four last year. They had 14 losses, the most of any team at this year's Region 1 Regional Tournament. They ended up falling 72-61 to to Wichita Falls Rider. But head coach Jim Forbes says they will be back and stronger than ever next year. We'll be back here. You know, uh, we've been here three straight years, three straight years, and we will be back again next year. And people say, well, that's kind of arrogant. No, it's not. I just think that um, our program has reached a level where the kids expect to be here and they expect to go to San Antonio, and that's what they're more disappointed in. Head coach Jim Forbes said he was proud of his team, not just because they battled through adversity all season long, but they battled through adversity during tonight's basketball game. When they fell down by 10, they climbed back to within four. They fell by, down by 14, they climbed back to within 8, but they weren't able to pull it out in the end, falling by 11 to Wichita Falls Rider. Reporting in Snyder, I'm Sports Director Trevor Thompson, ABC7 Sports. Trevor,